and a very warm welcome. I am Ruchi Sharma. Virtual digital assets of video markets were trading higher as recovery in broader markets and especially in equities have boosted investor confidence in risky assets. Bitcoin traded above $26,400 crucial level. IC15 index of cryptocurrency was trading up by 1.9% at 34,700 points. Meanwhile, Binance Labs strategically partnered with Pendle Finance, a DeFi application focused on yield tokenization. Binance Labs further claimed that Pendle's fixed yield product will play a pivotal role in the project's growth with Pendle traditionally acting as the backbone of institutional hedging. In an interesting news, according to data from Look on Chain, four significant Ethereum holders collectively purchased around 56,100 ETH worth $94 million in the past seven days. On the contrary, UK-based cryptocurrency exchange Bitstamp revealed that the exchange will shut down its Ethereum staking service for consumers in the United States next month. Moving on, artificial intelligence-related cryptocurrency namely FAT, GRT, INJ, RNDR and AGIX registered gains in the past 24 hours after NVIDIA company released its quarter 2 earnings which came in more than expected at $13.49 billion boosting the AI stock prices. In other news, the market value of all DAI in circulation exceeded $5 billion as cryptocurrency investors took advantage of interest rates as high as 8%. Going forward, nearly $500 million worth of crypto tokens were scheduled to unlock in August. However, this week, Avalanche will unlock $100 million worth of AVAX tokens. In total, more than $120 million worth of crypto tokens will be introduced in circulation throughout the week. The e-commerce behemoth Shopify has integrated Solana Pay, the payment system based on the Solana blockchain, enabling customers to make payments in USD coin. With the help of this integration, billions of businesses using Shopify's platform will be able to accept payments in USDC, the second largest stablecoin with a market capitalization of $25.9 billion. Firm trend witnessed in the altcoins and stablecoin space with Solana's SOL, NIA, ADA, BNB, DOT adding between 3% to 7%. Analysts expect the downtrend for digital assets to continue for weeks as both the technical and fundamental outlook for risk assets remain weak. The lack of liquidity and participation on the market currently does not support higher prices. US stock futures traded higher as investors cheered strong second quarter results from chipmaker Nvidia. S&P 500 futures climbed 0.5% while Nasdaq 100 futures gained 1.1%. Futures tied to the Dow Jones Industrial Average lost 38 points. Bitcoin was trading at $26,462 up 2%. Ethereum, the second largest crypto, was up by 1.7%, trading at $1,669. BNB was up by 2.3% to trade at $219. Solana SOL was up 4.6% and was trading at $21.7. Cardano's ADA token was up by 2.8% to trade at $0.26. Avalanche AVAX was trading at $10.3, higher 1.5%. Polygon Matic was trading up by 0.6% to trade at $0.55. Doge the popular meme coin was trading up by 0.2% at $0.063. Shiba Inu was trading up by 0.3%. Ripple's XRP token traded at $0.52 up by 1%. Polkadot was up by 1.5% to trade at $4.5. Let's move on to our technical analyst Mr. Ashish Bundele for his views on cryptocurrency markets. Well, the Bitcoin price has recently broken the local resistance level of $26,000 to $26,400 after testing the support area. Well, this is observed to be a positive sign and Bitcoin is now trading above this area. The symmetric triangle has also broken in an upward direction, which suggests that we may see a move towards the $28,000 resistance level in the coming days. Thank you so much, Mr. Ashish, for your views on the cryptocurrency market. That's all for Coin Monteva now. This is me, Ruchi Sharma, signing off. Do like, share, and subscribe to 3 TV. And for more information and stories, log on to our website www.3worstv.io or scan the QR code. With 3Dotto TV, stay connected with the world of blockchain. Stay up to date with infinite world of NFTs. Come explore and evolve with 3Dotto TV in the metaverse. So many coins, so much volatility.
Readout OTV delivers the news that matters. Blur continues to be the biggest NFT marketplace and aggregator among Ethereum native NFTs marketplaces, accounting for close to 60% of all trade volume on the chain, according to a recent study from Asari. Since its premiere in October 2022, Blur has significantly increased its popularity and has surpassed OpenSea as a market leader. After its token airdrop event on February 14th, it experienced a sharp rise in popularity. Before the airdrop, Blur controlled 48% of the market's NFT transfer volume. However, a few days following the airdrop, its proportion increased to 78%. The result was a 21% decrease in NFT transmission volume for OpenSea. NFT trading volume on Blur has declined due to a decrease in general market interest in NFTs. However, Dune Analytics data shows that daily NFT transactions completed on Blur still exceed OpenSea. Interest in NFTs has declined with a peak around February and a decline in market capitalization and sales volume. NFT Go reports a 46% decrease in market capitalization and a 98% drop in daily NFT sales volume. The total market cap of all collections has fallen by 46% in the past seven months, while sales volume has dropped by less than $5 million as of August. The developers of the immensely well-liked NFT collection Board Ape Yacht Club, Yuga Labs, have announced that they would stop supporting OpenSea's Seaport protocol as of February 2024. From collections like Board Ape Yacht Club, BAKC, Mutant Apes and other well-known NFT collections, OpenSea has earned over $100 million in fees. OpenSea revealed its decision to disable required royalties for existing collections before Yuga Lab decided to ban it. On August 17, OpenSea published a blog post detailing a number of updates. Yuga Lab's collections on OpenSea have nearly $5 billion worth of all-time traded value with the Board Ape Yacht Club alone generating around $2 billion. CEO Daniel stated that Yuga Labs will begin sunsetting support for OpenSea Seaport for all upgradable contracts and collections with the aim of completing this in February 2024. World Mobile, the operator of a decentralized wireless network, has announced the debut of its app on Google Play in a significant attempt to increase its worldwide reach. Users in the United States, the United Kingdom, Australia, Canada and Tanzania will benefit greatly from this change. The August 22 announcement represents a crucial turning point in the company's effort to close the connection gap. World Mobile aims to bridge the gap between major telecom giants and un deserved markets by offering select connectivity services and promoting a unique blockchain-based sharing system. The company's recent launch on Google Play uh, demonstrates its commitment to this mission following successful beta tests in markets like Kenya, Mozambique, Nigeria and Zanzibar. The World Mobile app represents a paradigm shift in how connectivity is viewed and accessed, leveraging DY uh, services to provide a lifeline for those left behind by traditional telecom services. The World Mobile token and other tokens based on the Cardano platform support this unique system.